Hi everybody, welcome to Rocky Mountain Survival and Homestead, and today I'm going to do an update on the Leatherman Signal. Stay tuned. All right, so today I wanted to do an update on the Leatherman Signal. I have been using it for a couple weeks now, and I uh, just kind of want to go over some of the things I found and things I've learned that I didn't know when I first got it and when I did an unboxing of it. So, first off, blade in this thing is still very sharp very usable no issues but i haven't really cut anything besides you know cardboard and tape but not a big deal uh, one thing i did notice the thing i use the most on this oh, that was weird <laughs> the other thing i use the most on this thing is actually the screwdriver and uh you can see it's getting kind of kind of worn a little bit but uh the way you have to use it is either like this or like this and you can you can use it like this and kind of wrench down like so let's see there we go you can use it kind of like that get an angle on it however that puts a bit too much torque on this area and it can throw the whole thing out of whack and it's kind of a pain in the butt to uh to fix not that big a deal uh something i did also find is that you can lose the bit pretty easy but uh if you close the sheath that comes in for the screwdriver close the whole tool you have the hex driver the, the quarter inch and the three sixteenths this bit fits inside there and holds itself it will not come out the other side and that way you can lose it again oh, that's the issue i found with it but if you need to get low clearance area you can come in this way and you can turn it like so to use it the uh you can do it both ways phillips head or flat head goes in that way and it won't come out the other side so it's pretty useful that way <clears throat> other thing i noticed is with the uh, with the striker it's not very big and you don't want to get a whole lot of uh, sparks coming off of it or you don't want to because you'll it'll, it'll wear it down too fast that's no good but uh when i had used the screwdriver and torqued it down it threw that little pin here out of whack and it's still a little messy but not too bad it's still it doesn't snap in as easy as it did when I first got it. But it, it does still work. So it takes a little bit of, to be a little careful with it. It's just a little tiny spring clip that holds it in there. Uh, hammer. Don't use it for hammering and nails. Because chances are you're going to miss and you're going to jack up your palm. But it does work good for crushing acorns, walnuts, um, making cordage from yucca. And I'll do a demonstration of that later on where I'll actually take a piece of yucca and I'll... I'll pound it down and I'll show you how it works great for doing that. So if you had to make some emergency cordage rather than, oh, I don't know, using your boot lace to make a bow drill, which is kind of stupid to me. I don't know if you ever had to walk four or five miles without a boot lace. It sucks. So using, using something natural out here, which there is, believe it or not, quite a bit of yucca out here that you could use to make cordage, and it works pretty good. So I would do that first before using my boot lace because... That stuff is expendable. I can make more of it and tear it up and be gone, done with it. Of course, I could also use my boot lace and make more laces out of yucca, but why do that when I could just use yucca? And it is pretty damn strong, so you can get quite a bit out of that. So, um, also, the thing I did notice before I start rambling on too much, the sharpener on this, I didn't really notice it before, but it makes sense now is on your knife you have the serrations and this sharpener is beveled the same diameter as those serrations or the same same curvature as that does does uh the serrations so this would be pretty pretty much perfect for polishing up or cleaning your uh your blade serrations which i'm not even going to mess with it too much because it's pretty damn sharp still i don't need to do it and i'll just mess it up even more 
<laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best sharper in the world. I'm still working on teaching myself to, to get better at that. But it's a process, so. <clears throat> so that's another thing. This is really good for sharpening out the serrations in this thing, or at least it would be if I was better at it. <laughs> so. Other than that, this is still my everyday carry, and I'm going to continue carrying it from now until something better comes out. As being out in the wilderness and being out in the woods is a great tool. Uh, has your fire starter, has your whistle, your knife, your saw. Can't really go wrong with that. Something that's all included like that. There aren't very many that I know of. Multi tools that really cover all those things. So this is a pretty good, pretty damn good uh, Leatherman. I'm going to keep holding on to it. Sheath is still pretty comfy, have no issues with it. I forget I'm wearing it half the time, which is really good about something like, so you use it as an EDC, that you forget that you're wearing it. Uh, tss, come here. That you forget you're wearing it, so. It's not uncomfortable. It's not too heavy on the side. It, it fits very well and it's, it's not obtrusive to me. So, that's gonna be everybody. So I think I'm going to try and make another video today, but uh, that's going to be it for this one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye.